Okay, they're all on. Microphone is still muted. You should be seeing the tweet come through. Where's the warning? Uh, that's the that's our audio problem. And refresh that maybe. Good. Okay, I'm gonna unmute. Here we go. Ready? Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another segment of Crosswords Live. This is your associate puzzles editor, Sam Izerski, alongside our evil genius, Garrett Amini, right here, um, in the wake of our beloved wordplay columnist, Deb Amlin's absence. Um, and we hope you'll join us to conquer today's tricky Thursday puzzle. Um, if this is your first time here, we do this every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a blast. All you got to do is click the video. We are streaming from YouTube and Twitter and Facebook. And put your guesses in the comments, and we will be on the lookout for you as we all conquer this puzzle together. Uh, how are you today, Garrett? <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. I am very excited that we're starting off in the Bible. <laughs> Gift from Jacob to Joseph in the Bible, huh? Is that is is, is that is that a gimme for you? Should, should we should we just move right along? You know, actually, it's not. Uh, I that's that's one of my areas of expertise. I like to think, but that's one that I am drawing a blank on, unfortunately. <laughs> well, that's okay. Here's one I've got for you. How about seven down? This this one hits home, right? It's a Thursday-ish clue, though, because if you don't know it, you're going to need your crossings. But hold my blank. Words before a foolish act. Let's hold my beer. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Well, Cosmo doesn't fit. Uh, oh, so. <laughs> so it would have to so you're be. You're a beer. Cosmo person rather than a beer person. Uh, MC Dendis has us actually with one across is coat. Of course, the that's coat the gift of from, many. That's, that's the gym mm. from. Um, Budlums right. is with us today. Hello to uh, Nicole Xavier 111. Welcome back. See, the problem is we couldn't fit the whole Technicolor dream coat in there, <laughs> so I had that. Was exactly, exactly. Amazing. Let's see. Henry Cook is with us today with a beer emoji. That's the one we're looking for. Um, yeah, if you have any guesses whatsoever, put them just put them in the comments. Chime right in. If they're right or they're wrong, they're going to help us conquer the puzzle no matter what. Budlum says, in my case, hold my matcha latte. I love matcha lattes. Here, here, here's another one. Uh, just an absolute. I mean, Garrett, you're a coder. Sure. What's a? What, you want to go to eleven down? I can go to eleven down. Uh, what the exclamation mark can mean in computer programming? I mean, y you know this all too well. This is just a gimme for you. It is. It is. It really only means not good. Well, What's I actually, I think. My original wording was just what the exclamation mark means in computer programming, but that got flagged as like, maybe there are exceptions. Maybe it's one thing that means not. I guess you can do a dash sometimes. You're the expert. You know, I've, I've never <laughs> seen it for anything but not. You can stack them and have not not Okay. to take something that's not truthy or, to make it in. absolutely true. So there you go. So that's a shout out to all our techie people in the room here. And if that clue absolutely mystified you, that is totally okay because what's so cool about a crossword grid is we've got, you know, all these interlocking across and down answers. And what's so cool about solving together is that one person's gimme is another person's stumbling block. So we can all chime in and crush this thing together. Uh, das Kapitalix agrees with not. You're a programmer. You're a techie person yourself. Uh, Bruce Giordano is back with us and has I beam at six down. Oh, that's a tricky one. Whenever I see letter shape construction piece, I think I beam, T bar, yeah. H. Is there an H beam? There is an right? H beam. There are T beams. See, and that's my background. I was a mechanical engineer, so. The, <laughs> but, but a T or an H probably won't go next to that B. So that's you know that's a really good point. And if you want to check your crosser there, five across right there. I mean blank H B blank T B. These are just some ways, you know, to just expand your territory when you're solving. As you solve more puzzles, you know that there aren't too many, you know, English... There aren't any English words that have blank HB or blank TB or whatever it is, unless it's the abbreviation OTB. So, projecting arm of a crane, I actually know that. You're right now, crossing our I-beam appropriately is JIB. J-I-B there. And that J is not the most common letter if you want to go to the crosser there, too. Where cats play? I love this clue. That's a tough one. So clue. it's got a question mark on the end of that. So uh, let's see, J jungle. It could, it could, it could be. Un uh, un unfortunately, that one's just not going to be the one that fits. 
Hold on, we got we got a bunch of guesses coming in. Uh, Honey604 is with us. Hello, Sam and Garrett. Honey604 is a regular here. Good to have you back. Same with um, Arcobal and Oceano. Hello, hello. Uh, you just see. nailed that pronunciation. Have you have you said that before? I, I have said that before. I also <laughs> took the years of Spanish, but oh, you know it's, it's 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 kind of faded now, alas. Natalie Crew is with us and is fourteen across. Blank e b blank b e blank. Did you know this one off the top of your head? I didn't, and I once again I was looking for a Bible reference because <laughs> uh, we get Ab- Abel and Cain and th- Cain their and coat Abel. for Joseph, right? Yes. Uh, let's see. Um, Yvonne4193 says, how do I zoom in? So unfortunately, that's not something we can really do on our end, but if you're solving on a device, I mean, please be sure you actually have the video clicked. It's a little bit easier to see on your tablet or your laptop than on your phone, but maybe you can try rotating your device. That would be more helpful too. Natalie Crew loves the weekend. Helpful to chime in there. Um, ready for this? KD Monken has five down with uh, J.A. Blank. <laughs> Do you want to go to um, five down, J A, and then down. six letters? Katie Monken saw right through that, as did Ka- Das Kapitalik's Jazz Club. Where the cats play, the cats there we being go. A, nice. a jazz term. I, I love it. Nice play on words. It. So here's a question from uh, James May. Um, the only one who ha- who's never heard of Hold My Beer, how is that a gimme? You know what, James, you bring up a great point because. As we love to illustrate in these puzzles, especially Thursdays, which have just, you know, clues of all sorts of varying degrees. I mean, one person, a puzzle, an answer can just come so easily for one person. And for another person, you need you might need every crossing. So we, we're not here to say what should be a gimme for people or what shouldn't be a gimme. Right now, we're just, you know, conquering the puzzle based on our wavelengths and your comments here. So that's one that I personally knew. But for instance, I mean, I would have needed the crossings for coat at one across. Everybody has their wheelhouses, and that's the beauty of solving crosswords. But I'll tell you what, if you've ever heard somebody say, hold my beer, it is something that uh, you tend to remember. Yeah, you Because what follows is often a memorable thing. A foolish act. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled if you ever hear somebody saying that. <laughs> let's let's talk about the cross here between 15 and 18. 15 down and 18 across, because I love both of these clues. Yes. Uh, this was the constructor's own, by the way. Both of these, actually. They are so great. So they're usually caught lying down. Zebras. Z's. Z's. As in oh, sleeping. As you're catching Z's, you're sleeping. Fantastic clue. Yes, yes. I love that one. Which would make 15 down as... Uh, <laughs> Honey 604. And MC Dennis, many others earlier. Um, pitcher Doc, so this is, you know, we do, we're, we're suckers for our fun facts. And here, here's bingo for y'all. As I say every time we, we stream, my favorite part about solving crosswords is that there's always new things you can take away from it. There's always something to learn from a puzzle. So if you're not, funny, again, fun fact, this would have been a gimme for me because I'm a baseball nut. But pitcher Doc Ellis claimed to have used LSD before throwing a no hitter in 1970, that's pretty wild, right? Now, did he actually throw a no hitter, or was it just in his oh, head? Oh no, it was it was a no hitter, all right. We just you know we don't know if if he was under the influence of LSD. I mean, maybe it's I feel easier like you'd see like the, the seven mitts, like, right? Yeah. When the batter's floating around in space, maybe it's easier. It's, to, it's a switch hitter at the same time, right? <laughs> Hello to uh, Liz Plowman. I'm saying hi on behalf of Deb, who's on vacation, but has generously lent us her Facebook page. Um, J.R. Darius agrees with LSD. Budlums is loving this. So let's see. Out of curiosity, you want to check out so every Thursday puzzle is themed in some sort. There's always a theme, and it's usually found in its longest across answers. Do you want to check out 20 across? We've already got the letter Z there that might lend itself to inspiration. So... I don't know. A bouncer who can always spot a fake? Uh, um, a, a, a bad my li- lizard. Uh, a bouncer. No. Uh, meat. Sure. Not, 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 that, well, that doesn't make much sense, does it? Oh, man. I know some things in Crossroads, you know, you just can't make heads or tails of. I'm but sorry. That's, heads or tails. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Uh, I mean, I should probably, am I looking for the name of the bouncer <laughs> at my college button? <laughs> Um, here, Honey604, but so, so I'll get back to you, Honey. Um, this is just something to keep in mind with those longer answers. It is a question mark at the end. Maybe this is some sort of 
pun theme that we're looking for. So we're really going to need to stretch our brains, you know, maybe bad lizard meat isn't that far off. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's just yeah. too close to lunch right Nat now. It, it, oh, yeah, I'm starving. Uh, Natalie Cruz loving this. Honey604 and Bugbums both agree on a Castro at one down with a very timely clue, too. Hey, yes, it is. Julian Castro is the one we're looking for. We want our puzzles to be timeless, so as a matter of fact, you know, just a fun... Fun fact, I mean, Will Shorts and I, when we were editing this puzzle, we were talking about making the clue something like 2020 Democratic Hopeful uh, Julian to be really in the moment. But we really, you know, we're going to publish this in a puzzle book in five years. And I think that clue still, you know, retains the same, still retains the same gist five years from now. And Isn't, like isn't his but... brother also a politician? Joaquin Castro? Fidel? No, no, <laughs> not Fidel. No, no, no he's, he's got like a twin brother, and it's like Joaquin, I think, Castro. De- Deb says, uh, Deb says, Rafa. <laughs> Hello, Deb. Deb, what are you doing here? You're on Deb, vacation. Go back on vacation. Please, don't just, please let us hijack your Facebook page in peace. Let's see. All right, moving along. Nelson7688 knows 32 across. It's Anubis. We have the U there. Egyptian protector of tombs. I feel like Anubis should enter the lexicon as like, if you really want to call someone a noob or a newbie, but just call them proper, you're just trying to be very, you know, hoity-toity with it. You call them Anubis. A nublet. A nublet. Anubis. Exactly. Kind of like how you form nublet from noob. Oh, yeah. Let's see. see. Honey you know, Joaquin, four, you, you he got is it. a twin. He is a twin. I have that got right. it. Joaquin Castro. That's a 13. Maybe that can be make its way to the center of a puzzle. So here we go. Um, Katie Monken is a pretty good idea. It's uh, 28 across on the right track, but we just don't have enough letters for it. Low scoring soccer win. Oh, see, it this could is be my one wheelhouse. goal. Your baseball. I'm yeah, soccer. Stick to, so so I'll, I'll stick to baseball. It's one nil is the one that we're looking for. But that's that was a perfectly here you go. You got bingo for y'all regulars here. Perfectly cromulent guess. Um, so it works. It works just as well. KD. We just didn't have enough letters for it. And this puzzle is not going over your crier. Spoiler alert, us entering multiple letters into a single square. So, fear not. In the meantime... So this one's obviously two lizard... Two lizard... Cows. cows. Bouncer who can... No, it's still... Oh, the, no. Nice try. But that's okay. I mean, you have to put your guesses in there. So, for instance, how about this? I mean, 17 across right above it. I saw some guesses uh, from Budlum's and Bruce Giordano for uh, SPCA, the Pet Friendly Org. Now, I've heard ASPCA, but I have not heard SPCA. See, that's so funny. I feel like I hear SPCA more than ASPCA. I mean, the A is just American, right? Is that what that is? Because so, it's Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. You're going to like this fun fact even more. This was before you were here. Our first super mega crossword had the full spelled out American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, whatever Whoa. it is, as the 49 letter answer or the 50 letter oh, answer man. running across the grid. We got to bring uh, back those mega <clears> puzzles. Man. Oh, it, it will be back. It will be back in December. That's, you know, an, an, a nice, uh, nice teaser. Um, let's see. How about <laughs> Das Capitalic says, ah, I originally had one zilla for that one. One zilla. And 29 down, she had zoo. So what is 29 down? Service site for many a vet. Does this one trip you up, Garrett? This, it, was, a, it, this it, was a really trippy one. Yeah, I, I have no one. idea trippy what this could be. Um, this is going to be so we that. wanted you to think a vet has something to do with the zoo or animals, your SPCA, you know, your vet checking in there. But we actually, vet is a shortening for veteran. So does that get the synapses firing anymore? It's going to be- hey, you know what? I can also think of a site where a lot of vets went. Yes, in the 70s. That would be NOM, as uh, John Goodman always talks about in uh, The Big Lebowski. How about this? Cole Xavier 111, you're on a roll. Eight down with no letters she has a pretty good idea. Money paid to get more money. I love that concept. Man, I... See, ATM feels I was crazy, looking at right? that and I was thinking asset, investment. Because uh, that's that's that way you're actually getting more money. But you're paying money to give... Oh, man. That's a good clue. I it, like it, it a lot. Thank you. That was mine. <laughs> Here I am talking myself up. Um, Natalie Cruz is just loving this. Lots of LOLs and LMAOs. We're, we're, we're glad you're enjoying this. Feel free to chime in with more guesses, too. Wait, Can't that hurt. was your clue? I thought this was the first time you've seen this puzzle today. Oh, yeah. Shh. 
don't don't tell any. This is a, you you saw you got to solve this puzzle today though. So this is a lot more organic than when I guess I guess Deb solves them too, but she hasn't seen them for the first time. I just edited them. Um, Arcobal and Oshina, but has nine down right next to it. Hollywood star whose birth name is Alfredo. Did you see this through this, this one, or did, did this trip you up? I, I had the P. I had the P cross here, and that was enough for me to, to figure it out. Al Pacino from uh, Tropic Pacino. Thunder, right? Yes. So there we go. That's where that's where you get the Al from. So you said you had that P there as the first letter. Why is that? You had this crosser? This as, is a wacky, wacky answer, first of all. Almost everyone in New York has in their address. Indeed, is. indeed. And you notice it says Aber. Right, which is the abbreviation for abbreviation. So the answer is going to be in a truncated form too. It's always important to keep up, to pick up on those shortenings or those aber tags. That's just how we pronounce them in our crossword circles, because that that'll just make your life that much easier. You know to look for shortenings of things when you're solving, and abbreviations tend to be pretty repetitive too. Guess what? I've got some news for you from Natalie Crew, from Kathy O. Welcome back, Kathy, from Shell Bent. They have 20 across. Do you want to, now, now that you have the correct answer, do you want to go over this? Yes, indeed, indeed, well done. It is the bouncer who can always spot a fake is the wizard of ID. Hilarity so, ensues, right? You're smiling. I, Don't lie. Okay, yeah, I, I like it, but I've never heard of the wizard of id. Yeah, that's, that's tough. See, and that's part of... That's part of our job as the editorial team, Will Shorts, Joel Faliano, and myself. When we review these puzzles, we want to make sure, especially with theme-related content, that it's very widely, very well known because we don't want you know the puzzle to fall flat for those unfamiliar. We ultimately deem that the Wizard of Id would just be familiar to enough solvers, but again, what can you do if you have no idea there? First of all, you get it through the pun. But second of all, you can check your crosswords, am I right? You have to check all your right. crosswords you because otherwise it. you might think of this other famous wizard of yes. a two-letter place. And it, and it will really throw you off. And Al Pacono is, 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 is not a thing. What is 10 down, by the way, to rule out that Z is that terminal letter there? Acquire mid-season as a sports team might. Anybody have any guesses for that one? In the meantime, while we chew on that, um, I'm seeing some guesses at 27 down for Sit from Judith Bashan, MC Dendis, and probably a few others. Canine Command. So Sit does happen to be the correct answer. Now, it could also be Beg. It can also be, I guess it can't be Stay. What else no, do you can, tell your dog? Stay, speak. Shut up. <laughs> Stop barking. I can't hear myself think. Hold my beer. Hold my beer. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, honestly, dogs, you, you can teach an old dog a new you know, trick of the, the 2010s that the kids are saying these days. But we can check our crossers is my point. We can go to you know maybe 25 across, the fall of Troy escapee. That's Aeneas, right? Whoa. A E N E A S. It would. How is see. that for a crossword ease answer? It is just <laughs> vowels everywhere. See and for see and I, I like my I like my you know Greek and Roman mythology. So an answer like that appeals to me. But again, some you, you can throw up your hands and go like, what the heck is that? <laughs> Nicole Savior one 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 says, you know, she's rolling off these dog commands. Eat. P. I, mean, I don't have to tell my dog to eat. My dog eats absolutely anything. Or it's pee. usually like, no, don't eat that. That's your own poop. Uh, <laughs> moving right along, MC Dendis is checking us on the T at 34 across there, right below Aeneas. Uh, blank, blank T. Go four. Now that four is in parentheses. Which, yeah. Do, and, do, and do you know why that is? Like, it's just like a weird construct. It's one of those things that I, I intuitively know from solving years of crosswords, it's, but when my girlfriend asked me about it, <laughs> I, I couldn't put it into words. So it's it's hard to explain. I think, you so for is like a preposition, right? And when we have those prepositions or prepositional phrases and they're in parentheses, it basically means that for follows the word go, and it also follows the word opt. Uh, there's an echo in here. Uh, in order for the clue to make sense in terms of substitution. So if you go for something, like you're really interested in choosing something, you opt for that. So that's how it makes sense. You go for something, you opt for something. 
You have to apply the four in the parentheses to bet the clue, the rest of the clue and the answer for it to make sense. <laughs> Nicole's everyone one chiming in about her own Yorkie. Yorkies are cute. Let's see. Archibald Oceano says, Aeneas, our founder. Um, we have other guesses from uh, Judith Bashan and MC Dendis for and, for, uh, and at 26 down. Well, we have the P there for opt. What is this? What's what? next? Well, first of all, why is there no what's in the, uh, in the uh, why is there no apostrophe in what's? Wait, this wait, is, wait, wait. You think that there could be a typo in the crossword? Uh, hey, hey, we, you know, it wouldn't be the first time. A, a, a lack, alas. Um, did this one make any sense to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. This is one of, I'll be honest with you, this is one of the stretchiest clues we have done in a very long time. So I am more than happy to explain it. So the answer here is app. Because <laughs> Will, you know, this is his clue naturally. This is a Will Short special. I'm, I'm just going to throw this guy under the bus. But no, I signed off on it. I love this I was gonna clue. say, if this is a Will Short's clue, wouldn't it be like mysterious box on my magic device? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he knows his apps. He's got his smartphone. But um, so we are, you know, mysteriously reinterpreting it next as kind of a word that can follow. Do not read this as what's next, like what comes after something. Read this as how app follows the word net or the word what's excuse me to make whatsapp oh my and God, that is why we let and that is why we left off <laughs> the apostrophe that. there yeah you're you're busted oh up no yeah, that's so see, bad <laughs> but see that's our that, that's that's our shtick is you know <laughs> oh. if we can make you smile doing it we're, we're gonna we're gonna really let the creative juices flow because that i mean that, that was that's an absolute grinder but kathy o, we're always here for the dad jokes if you're still with us you, you already know that so yeah, so that's why we left off the apostrophe. So yes, back to 10 down. Is this making more sense to you now? Acquire mid season? So. I think so. We had a guess earlier from, um, from Budlum's MC Dennis, both in the ballpark, um, as a sports team might. The answer is going to be trade for. That's the one, because you might trade for a player mid season, right? To acquire them, you know, stack your play stack your team for the playoffs. They do that in the MLS since all Absolutely. the transactions. Absolutely. In fact, my my home team, the Seattle Sounders, <laughs> they didn't trade for him, but they acquired uh, an eight-year-old starting goalkeeper. Oh, he's not just going to start immediately? Uh, he did. He did. He started on our friendly versus Borussia Dortmund. Oh. Uh, and he had an immediate <laughs> I didn't know they were out there. There um, you go. Yeah, he, it, was a, it was a thing for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. All right, well, then there you go. That's a nice trade. Um, <laughs> Honey604 is groaning. Let's see. Natalie Crew is another one, actually, symmetrically opposite. Um, symmetrically opposite 10 down. If you want to jump to the eight letter answer at 35 down, um, biometric reading. This is so hard to see without any letters in place. So I don't know how'd you got, how you got it, but I am impressed. Um, it is an iris scan. And that phrase makes its debut into the New York Times crossword. Ooh, that's exciting. It's, it's fun to keep track of that stuff, right? Shout out to our, our friendly uh, website, xwordinfo.com, which, you know, keeps track of all that all that jazz. And, we, you know, an answer like that on the editing side, we give those answers check marks when, they see, when we see them and we're reviewing a puzzle, which is all open submission, by the way. Anybody can submit a puzzle. You can submit a puzzle. Um... <laughs> And you can submit a puzzle, and you know, I'm doing the Oprah. So th that's just like a fun answer. You can give it an interesting clue. It's kind of a modern phrase. We think solvers will enjoy filling it in and seeing it in the grid. So we, uh, so, so we, hope, uh, we hope that landed with you guys. And if you learned something new, great. Hope you know it for next time. Um, here is a clue. He, you, we were talking about this one earlier, Garrett. Uh, Nicole Xavier 111 has 59 across um, in this bottom middle area there. Uh, Churchill's successor in 1955. And the reason why we're bringing that up is because, do you want to go to 41 across too? Well, oh, sure. Churchill's successor in 1945. What? No. This guy got succeeded twice. See, and I didn't know this until we were on the elevator ride down to yes, this room. Yes, but that is that is a okay. I mean, we're it's, we're, we're sure we're sure that might have tripped some people up. So, so Churchill had Churchill had two different terms that he served. So it just so works out 
and we love, love, love these twin crossword, these twin clues as we as we like to call them in the in the in the cross world. Uh, you have the boom, 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 a, a b, a b, right? Um, Churchill's successor in 1945 is some dude named Atlee, A T T L E E. Hey, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Um, and Churchill's successor in 1955 is my guy Anthony Eden, I believe. Different clue for Eden than just uh, once the, again you know, could have been a biblical clue. Could have been a biblical clue. We 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 didn't want to go too Bible heavy on all our sovereigns, you know. We we we, we can let the evangelists take care of that. Um, <laughs> let's see. We can finish up that top right corner. I mean, uh, M C Dendis, M C Dendis as um, M Cats at nineteen across. Hurdles for would be GPs. There we go. There's General a, practitioner. There's a shortening in the clue too, so you know Definitely. the answer is going to be shortened too. Just one of our one of our quirks we've got, and th- this is Joel's clue. This is, is a uh, yeah Joel. Joel well, Joel, this Joel's would fit clever. in a mini. So this it makes would sense. fit in a mini. Joel Joel is out there. Joel's out there working on minis right now. This guy is always working on the mini. He really. We hope you guys like the mini crossword on the app. He he does a fine job with them with them, and he absolutely agonizes over you know making sure they're in tip top shape. So shout out to Joel, keep it up. Sun deck, remember there's a question mark at the end of the clue, so don't take this at face value. This is not where you know you go sit out and tan and you know do whatever, watch the sunset. This is a physical card deck. You know might have the sun, the devil, the fool, whatever's in your tarot deck. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a tarot deck. Have you? Oh, I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen them I've at just like kind fairs. Of seen them like, oh, okay. There's going to be a tarot reader on this, like gonna, street fairs. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And um, that gets us OTs at 12 down. I'm pretty sure we could walk around Times Square and for $10 you could get your tarot. I, I need to. I don't. Do I even want to get my, my tarot? It's probably going to. It's probably, it's probably better probably not to know. doom me. Yeah. So we have seen a lot there for thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's another. It looks like another pun that might be related to the theme. So we've got backstory for TV's Magnum. TV's Magnum. That sounds like Magnum PI. Oh. So that fits. But this, according to Giordano Bruce and MC, MC Dendis and Woodlums, would be the life of Pi. Oh, that's okay. Life of so PI, sorry. So we've got. <laughs> So we're, we're starting. We're starting to catch on now, right, Solvers? We've got the Wizard of ID from the normal phrase, the Wizard of Id. We all knew Life of Pi, right? I read Life of Pi forever ago. The Life of Pi. I actually just put Life of Pi in a crossword. That's coming to a theme list near you. Huh? Keep your eyes and ears peeled for that one. Um, so there you go. We can even. You want to even just take a look at that middle answer here, um, <laughs> just so we, we can start thinking about it. Advice. For how the Pope can reach out online. So each of these has got two letter abbreviations that are read differently than how you would expect to yeah. fit the theme. So this, let's see, I am blah 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 R. Hmm. And we've got I online in the clue. I can't think of any good online <laughs> abbreviations that fit with an R here. But there is I am. So maybe that's the pun. It's like on I'm or something like I that. I am. Reach out to people online. You would I am them. There we go. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll let you all chew on that some more. Natalie Crew liked the tarot card deck clue. <laughs> Nicole Xavier one once says, holy smoke. Honestly, I don't even know exactly which fur you're, you're laughing about because that, that can refer to a whole bunch of this kind of stuff. Um, or just our incessant banter. Um, in the meantime, we've got some guesses uh, for eel. At 38 down, I mean, eel is so hard to clue. You, you guys, it's constructors out every there. single it's, crossword. Well, ever. exactly, because <laughs> it's in every puzzle, and eel is, you know, it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with eel, but like, sheesh, we 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 just rack our brains with trying to find a fun new way to clue without doing something, you know, hackneyed or uh, trivia heavy. So there you go, long-bodied predator for eel. That's not going to win any awards, but we led you to the answer. That, that's all. Um, Budlums has venti right next to it at 37 down. The Starbucks size. I don't really drink at Starbucks anymore. No, no, not it's, if you have a choice. Not, not, not if you have a choice. <laughs> it's but, you know. really handy when you're abroad. It's the American <laughs> embassy, wherever you are. <laughs> Craig, Craig Berman. <laughs> based, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying hard not to bust up laughing because it is so true. 
it, it, this because you just absolutely narrated how Will and Joel and I bounce around crossword clues and arrive at you know we do the the uh, Doc Brown special of uh, it's so crazy that it just might work. He says, Editor one, I have a stupid clue for sit twenty six down. Editor two, hold my beer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that's, pretty that's, much. That's it's honestly just minus the beer. You know, we we don't we, we want to make sure we're we're as coherent as possible where we're clearing these crossroads. Even Usually. if it might even Usually. if it might not seem that way when <laughs> I mean the first pass anything goes. <laughs> the first pass anything goes. Hey, by the way, we've got some guesses coming in for that central answer. Uh, Honey604, Natalie Crew, MC Dennis, Bodlums. Y'all are crushing it. <laughs> Nick, Nicole like Craig. Uh, yeah, Craig Berman's comment. So, how can the Pope reach out online, Garrett? How can he reach out online? He can. I am a believer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, you know. I mean, I'm telling you, we, you know, I don't get to solve these puzzles, contrary to, you know, my Emmy Award not winning acting for, for today. But, like, we look at these and we, we really do laugh and groan and just have fun with this. We want this to be fun for y'all. This is how, you know, we gauge these pun themes, too. I mean, this is it's just ridiculous, shouldn't, right? Shouldn't the Pope be reaching out to non-believers? Yeah, shouldn't but, he be like, but, I am a non-believer? But, but the monkeys didn't write. I'm a non-believer. Oh, that's so true. That's, too many that's syllables. Too too many syllables, and it wouldn't have even worked for the crossword symmetry here. We would we would have needed a you know a, a rectangular grid. Um, <laughs> you got to find the non-believers wherever they may roam. Exactly, exactly. But the believers, the crossword believers, are currently here with us, throwing in guesses for these puzzles. Uh, Natalie Crew has TCM uh, Turner Ch- Channel Movies at a. Uh, 24 across and that gives us um that gives us 21 down it gives uh, it in a flash is it it in a it in a it my favorite no, book yeah it's 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 i tina that is tina turner's uh autobiography um that is why she is called you know referred to herself upon writing upon writing it and that just i have no other you know rationale here other than to say that that was a big book to say that that shows up in a ton of puzzles. If you don't know Itina, you, you better, you, you don't have to read the book, but you, you better start, you better start learning it's that, it now. That handy that vowel a, consonant, vowel consonant, vowel. Exactly. You're, you're thinking like a constructor. There's, there's, there's mindsets. <laughs> Natalie Cruz making fun of I am. Yeah, apparently all the believers on Facebook. We know. I say DM now too. But again, when the monkeys wrote the song, <laughs> they weren't thinking about DMing believers. They were referring to themselves. Well, they as as I mean, it was a bit before their time, you know. Like they, they couldn't they couldn't de- do that yet. But I I bet if the Pope was on Twitter, maybe they would uh, DM believers instead of I am, which you know sounds more Facebookish. Um, I just invented that word. All right, let's knock out this top left. We've been eyeing it up for way I too long. Can in do person. this prefix with or Harry Potter eg. Can you see that one with enough I letters? Can. I can see that one. It took a couple of crosses for me to figure oh, that one out. Oh, for sure. But that is an orphan. That is an orphan, indeed, indeed. We waffled over having Harry Potter as a child eg. You know, to spell it out more. But you know, Harry Potter just was an orphan. We didn't think we needed that extra bit. I don't think you stop being an orphan as an adult. Ex- well, exactly. It was more just like he was an orphan, I guess. He, you know, you don't you you really didn't think of him as an orphan when he was you know of wizarding age at seventeen. Sure. I'm a Potterhead. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> oh, everybody's pointing out that the Pope's on Twitter. Great. Okay. Cool. Maybe he'll DM <laughs> so you, some believers. He could DM believers. <laughs> My guy Francis. <laughs> MC Dendis has thaw at four down. I thought I thought a putty tat, but no, it's just a synonym for detente, a tough Thursday clue. And then consent to, this is another one of your, you know, parentheses, prepositional clues. If you consent to something, you, what's that, MC Dennis? What's that, Budlums? You ex- accede to that. And that gives us our crossers, too. We've got rad, totally gnarly, wicked, cool. We've got, wow, arch is a prefix for conservative. That's a, I don't think we've ever clued arch that way I've before. I've never seen that. I've seen so, neo for a three letter. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, neo, we're just desperately looking for new ways to clue neo. Um, we did just have the matrix in a puzzle, uh, sidebar, uh, view of this past Friday. So uh, that was cool. We clued uh, with respect to how it was filmed. Scenes were filmed in bullet time. I thought it was a fun fact. 
Um, Matthew 40, I don't believe I've heard from you yet, has 46 across, blank, NL, blank, blank, blank. Recruit is used in the verb form here for enlist. Thank God we had a few letters for that. And then 36 down crossing it, that eight letter one right there, E-L-E. -E. Um, <laughs> shout out, this is good for all the science-y people in the room. Kathy O got it, and I believe a few others did earlier. What B and C, but not A, may represent are uh, reliable trains oh yeah that, that's oof it's or unreliable C? trains actually it'd be the other way around <laughs> i mean yeah, it's, it's a stretch to even call the a train reliable i think a b c d e they're all they're all not the most reliable these are chemical elements y'all it's boron and carbon but fun fact there is no chemical element whose symbol is just a i mean argon is a r and then weirdly, I mean, silver and gold are AG and AU, respectively, from their Latin, uh, their, their Latin forms, just like tin is SM, you know, stanum, and lead is PB, uh, plumbum. Um, <laughs> Kathy O, is, is, as Arch Everman clued, is uh, Keanu's Motorcycle Company. Um, no. <laughs> Ge 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 Georgie Porgy agrees with elements. But I, I really liked that clue. You know, I, I, I had to talk Will into it a little bit. But that's just, I don't think we've done anything like that. That's a real thinker. Hopefully, uh, you know, you didn't have to be a real sciencey person to appreciate it. Um, let's see. What are some other guesses that are pouring in? Katie Monken is back with a 51 across blank MT. Looks like it's EMT, Triage Pro for short. That's the one. We have the shortening mentioned too. Bruce Giordano has debt right below Eden. It's nice when it's forgiven. Uh, it sure is nice. Yes, sure I wish. Nice. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll keep holding out hope over these next, you know, seven years or whatnot. But yay, yeah. um, for, for my college debt. Um, money, that honey six oh four. Money six oh four. Uh, <laughs> has 47 down with just the I in place. And this was, I have a little backstory on this clue. College now, town. Is the backstory that this is the hometown of one of our new hires? One of our one of our new hires who was an intern who has been a crossword contributor to the Times for years now. One of our youngest constructors ever, by the way. Our guy, John Westwig. John, if you're watching, shout out to you. John is from the tiny town of Ulysses, New York, that Will and I, at the time, waffled over even including because we want to make sure people know you know these these things if we drop them into our grids and apparently this has like 5,000 people if that but the thing is is that Ulysses New York was really just meant to be a nice hint that led you to the answer of Ithaca home to uh, Ithaca College and Cornell um, so we just thought that was a fun clue and hey if you're uh, solving from uh, Tompkins County I mean hello hello you know shout out to Ulysses New York so there you go. I think I got that right. I think it's Tompkins County. Um, let's see. Moving right along. Budlums has eek by at 51 down. You know, it is so nice to have the full eek something phrase rather than just barely make it without. It's, it's, barely it's make it with by because you can't clue eek any differently. You know what? This kind of clue was one of the biggest struggles I had learning how to do crosswords well. Oh, yeah. Because I, I had such a hard time thinking that I could split things into two words in the answer. Oh, yeah. I always wanted one word to My, fit in there. I, I totally, I mean, it's tough. And you look at it, you go E blank, E B blank, like what? For just make it, it just doesn't make much sense. But you know what? I got to tell you, I totally, I grew up solving, you know, the, the Washington Post crossword, even the cross synergy syndicate, even before I, from hometown uh, Northern Virginia, even before I solved uh, the Times crossword, and it just blew my mind that you could have all these multi-word phrases stitched together like that. And once you start getting the hang of seeing them, I mean, you'll just have these crazy aha moments when you figure it out for just a single answer in a crossword grid. Who'd have thunk it? Um, I'm seeing some guesses coming in for Ides right next to it. Shakespearean uh, warning word. Beware, beware the, Ides, the of Ides of March. Beware the Ides of any month. We just passed them for July. And that gives um, us the cross here. This is my this is my least favorite kind of crossword clue. Oh it yeah. Is, it is when you take something that is already abbreviated and then the answer is also abbreviated. 
an abbreviated answer of an acronym. We will is, keep is my least we, we, favorite kind of crossword. We will keep clue. that in mind, guys. What are what are your least favorite kinds of crossword answers? You know, quick quick poll here. I mean, please please, you know, just just give us an onslaught here. <laughs> Gives makes for good talking points. It doesn't make me feel bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, so that is an answer. I was talking about how we gave a nice check mark next to iris scan, an answer like S Y S which, you know, is just such common letters. It shows up all the time, and it's an abbreviation within an abbreviation in this case. I mean, we give that a little minus that we write right next to the grid. Like, that's an answer that just feels subpar to us. So we, we try and keep those sorts of answers in moderation, you know, when we're reviewing these crosswords for uh, potential acceptance. But an answer like that is a little, little tiny strike against it because it's some crummy little three-letter answer. But, I mean, uh, you know, the re- there's so much, you know, nice stuff like elements and it's good clue and eek by and you'll see this last across answer uh, hold it, Holding it all together. It's crazy. Ah oh, That's got it. Alex. Okay. Well now I'm offended. What am I talking about here? Sports clue or the sports clues are the worst But see that's a good point. I mean everybody has their wheelhouses We don't want to overdo it on the sports clues. We we hope we don't overdo it on the sports clues, but we're going to have them occasionally. I mean, I kind of appreciate it because now I know, like, five baseball players. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's always or, the same five uh, baseball m- players. M- Mel Ott. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly. Uh, Jenny Lynn Bader is with us and has a uh, – welcome, Jenny. Has a uh, 57 across, which is a uh, Coco. See, now I thought this uh, – Kathy O agrees with that one. <laughs> Honey 604, my least favorite kind of answer, Remus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. James May says, the pop rap singer names drive me crazy. They're really obscure names that can't easily be deduced. Names in general, you know, these days we, we try and keep them a little more in moderation because there's also, they also just give for limited cluing potential too. I mean, you just have to clue them as some trivia that's going to be a gimme for some and mystify others. And especially as you say, James, when the names aren't verbal, you might need every last crosser to get it. It's just crazy. That sounds like something that James May from Top Gear would say, actually. <laughs> is this? Is, or do we have the actual James May on, on the stream right now? <laughs> I'd be a, so excited. I mean, we'll, we'll ask Deb if, if Deb still <laughs> can't resist poking her head in. Uh, let's see. Um, B Kaneko 35 is joining us now. Has a 56 down, um, right next to the left of Ithaca, with no letters. Bit of kindling is a twig. I was a Boy Scout once. That would have come easily. So we didn't have any letters. But, Me too. Eagle I mean, Scout. There, oh, there you go. See, I didn't make it that far. I, oh, I, I had I was to. The, I, I mean, I, I had, like, you know, I, 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 I did what I could, and I stuck it out until I was 18, but I was just there for the camp. I, I, I was not allowed to get my driver's license until I got my Eagle Oof. Scout. All right, so, so you, you, you grind it you were on the grind so i got it right away <laughs> another i will say another way we know twig you know is a, is a pl- cromulent guess is because look at how it this is you know you pick on you pick up on this more as a constructor but really it helps so much in solving look at how that answer lines up against ithaca i mean it gives you w a blank blank i c blank blank g a those all look like they have real world possibilities hit james may is like nope he's laughing <laughs> oh man <laughs> nice try that's okay still still welcome to have you james may still happy Please, that you're here everybody here everybody here is welcome i'm trying to call on as many people um i'm trying to call on as many people as i can by the way so if i've missed you for whatever reason these comments are just scrolling on by i'll try to get to as many people as we're trying to get to as many people as possible here so anyway with those crossings i mean we have gar at 66 across I would have Terry never gotten Gar. this in a million years. Yeah, I, again, so here, you guys, we, we talk about wheelhouses here. I mean, I'm just perfectly comfortable sharing mine. Films, film, TV, that's just not mine. I see a title. I, you know, maybe with GA blank blank would have gone, okay, Terry Gar shows up so much in puzzles. That's a decent guess. But I would have just gone like, I don't know my ninth. I wasn't, I wasn't alive. I wasn't even a thought in 1982. No, me neither. <laughs> oh, Budlum says, bird on a branch on Halloween. Twig or tweet? There we go. Oh, yeah, no. That's, that's a great no. but hey, we're suckers for that kind of stuff. <laughs> What's some, so here, uh, you want to go up to, some solvers are getting it, but I want to give a few others the opportunity to see the clue first. 53 across. Certain people prefer their computer specialist to be attractive let's see here so computer That's specialist s s something no could s s q sequel <laughs> sequel maybe yeah. um 
I don't. The Honey Six Hundred Four has got it. Just shouting you out, but I wouldn't give more solvers a chance to try and grok it. We can get our crossers maybe at forty-eight down. For the record, I think all of our computer specialists here are very attractive people. <laughs> we're all. We 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 may we all make for a good team. <laughs> we're, 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 you know, I just, I mean, honestly, I, I don't even subscribe to 50, the 53 across. I just I just like my computer specialist because when I have a problem, I just flail my arms in the air. <laughs> and we all know Deb does. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Hello, Deb, if you're still here. You better not um, be here, Deb. Go so, go enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> so, so go, go enjoy the Uffizi. Um, so here we go. Sorry to the non-sports people. This was this was my clue. I just told Will. I'm like, hey, I've got a clue for us. Will's like, all right, let's do that. Uh, an Oklahoma athlete is a Sooner. That is their mascot. They're the Oklahoma Sooners. Maybe infer below because Oklahoma is the Sooner state. Um, a lot of history behind that term. A lot, lot of history behind that term, indeed. Um, a half laugh. That's weird. He, it's it, usually you see it as T or he when it's tee three he. letters, but it's just like T he and the other half is he 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 he. I guess that's not quite half. Well, maybe we should uh, check out these crosses. Let's thing. check out a hankering wand, Wang Wang Chung, um, Wayne, Wano, when no, <laughs> no, that's Wants. a want. That's that's okay. That's I, a know, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Um, cold. Cold drink. I saw some guesses iced for tea, an right? icer. You yeah, there was a guess for iced tea. Yo, ice, come join us. Um, <laughs> the cold, cold drink this is actually a brand. We just kind of didn't advertise that. It's icy. It's your Slurpee alternative. It's got the polar bear logo. We've told you all that in previous crossword clues. That's how I know it. But yeah, we I'm get like we icy. get paid from every brand that we mention in the puzzle, right? Is just, that how it just works? Just don't tell anybody. That. I mean, that is why you know our Opel cars. You know, that's why show, we all drive that's, Opel. That's, that's, why, right. that's why GTO is still around, you know, it's because <laughs> we're, we're blowing them up even though they haven't had success. Since we we also all now. have Oldsmobile Aleros. Oh, yeah, I love my Olds, but, but don't forget the, um, yeah, the, the successor to the Cutlass. We, we like to bring that up, too. Uh, we've also got our Sierras. As a matter of fact, I mean, I, ho- I wrote, you know, my shameless plug for the day is I wrote a whole list on wordplay. Of the crossword garage, ten cars that you should know to up your your solving game. So you guys should check that out. Of cars, you like me, they're not good with your cars. I don't know anything about cars. Um, so a half laugh is a titter. A titter. Sort of a nervous laugh, but a half laugh. <laughs> and that gives us toi, the French 101 pronoun. So do we have, <laughs> Das Capitalix says, I would pay so much more for my subscription if you guys got iced tea to join Crosswords Live. Hold we, my beer. We might be able hold to make beer. that happen, actually. Let's, <laughs> we'll for work the, on that. For those of you that hadn't heard Hold My Beer before, by the way, I hope we've given it enough context for now. We're absolutely beating this to death. Um, so here we go. All right, we're, let's let the floodgates open. Certain people prefer their computer specialists to be attractive. Some like... I T, hot. We need we need an air horn here. Is, is, is what so we need. We need or a groan, an, an air horn or a groan. Yeah, that one. I mean, that one was the stretchiest out of all of these. That was so hard to clue. But okay, so there you go. You've got some like it hot, and we've parsed it to um, some like I T hot. Some do. Sure. There you go. Wouldn't complain. <laughs> um. How about this? Let's go to let's go to forty three down with that O A nautical chart markings. Well, here's one like little hack for crosswords that we haven't even gone over. We've just kind of done this knee jerk, but notice that yeah, markings with an S. It's not always true, as you know. Those pedantic people, you pedantic people on Twitter have pointed out before. But generally speaking, it's worth a try here. When a clue references a plural. The answer is probably, probably, probably going to end in an S. So it is worth a shot. And you know what it might be able to give us now that we've plunked in that S? We can check our crosser for 64 across and bank on an S being correct. And maybe with just that additional letter, it'll make it exponentially easier for us to see that surrealist Max is Max Ernst. That is the one. Surprisingly, a bunch of different ways to clue Ernst, even though it shows up in puzzles all the time. I mean, we got Ernst and Young, we've got Jody Ernst. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, Let's see. Some like IT hot, B. Kaneko 35 agrees. 
Um, Katie Monken and Bruce Giordano have Sue at 45 down, ending in E. Refuse to settle is Sue, yes. Uh, in court, indeed. Uh, we can go over to the clue for uh, 42 across, by the way. I, this is we, our... You've clued this as the Johnny Cash song, right? Yes. Of oh, course. yes. We, we, we've clued Sue in every which way at this point. Good. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, you want to go to 42 across? Because this is our final theme answer. Just, I was just, just in Canada yesterday. Oh, there you are. Welcome up in, back. Up in Montreal. I did not realize that. I, I'm only in the building on Thursdays, so nice. Welcome back from vacation. Hopefully, hope this is fun. Brought back some you maple mean, sugar treats. Ooh. Ooh. I, I'm, I, lunch, is, lunch is coming soon. We just need to wrap up this puzzle first. Um, so, statement before, and that's Canada with the question marks. This is going to be another ridiculous pun answer. We can start thinking about what that two-letter abbreviation might be that we've parsed goofily. In the meantime, Mary, or is it Marie does things, I don't believe I've called on you yet, has 50 across, which is Vishnu, Hindu protector of the universe. Oh, I should have, that's one of those, you know, there's always one clue that you're just like, how did I not see that earlier? Or maybe you just need an extra letter or two, but now it just falls. And that V in Vishnu, there's not too much that ends in a V, but Bconeco35 says that the sister channel of VH1 is MTV. That is correct. Uh, is VH1 still around, or are they just doing their lists? I don't know. Is MTV still around? I think they are. I don't know. They're not airing, not doing too. They're not airing new Beavis and Butthead, as far as I know. How about this? What's right next to it? This shows up in puzzles all the time. Just mm. one of the perks of just solving mm, a delicious. lot. You just you're just able to see that the yellowfin tuna, or if you're just a sushi lover, which I guess I am too, um, is ahi. Ahi tuna is the one, and that might give us. Some solvers are getting it. We can, you know, do we want to check? Uh, do we want to check thirty down and then thirty-three down? Light airs. No, it follows our same trick of the following the plurals here. So well, that sounds that nice. sounds cromulent to me. Lilts, mm -hmm. indeed. Airs like melodies, and right next to it, thirty-three down. One looking for a match with a question mark. Usually, there, so yeah, exactly, exactly, it picks right up on that. It doesn't have anything to do with smokers, one looking, or, you know, old maid players, or one looking for a match as a Boy about. Scouts. Or Boy Let's Scouts. be real. Yeah, we're, we were always looking for matches, and, All you know, more time. propane, if there was a leak. <laughs> Here we go, um, Wilson Dianto has 61 across, right below, between, sandwiched between uh, Coco and Ernst. Would you eat a Coco and Ernst sandwich? Um, cacao. Um, the Kazakhstan ran, range are the Urals. And that gives us Q at 57 down. That's my blank. I hope some of the younger solvers put in jam first. I assured Will <laughs> that, I assured Will that, that, oh, that sure. they would. Yeah. And, uh, 58 down. Aber, abbreviation, shortening on a music score. The ARR, it stands for arranged, you know, before, you know, another per, another composer's name. Um... But you know, I've started to I've started to appreciate just cluing in his R matey, just for the sheer fun of it. I I wish it was. That would be fantastic. Fun fact: I'm patting myself on the oh, back. We should I do was... a talk like a pirate day themed crossword. Oh, we've we have had that before. I, Twice. How have I missed that? Twice. Cra crazy, crazy enough. Well, but not it might be time to bring that back. It might, it might be time to bring it back. It, it's coming. We're uh, we're we're just over. We're two months and a day away because talk like a pirate is 15 letters. Um, in the meantime, so we're going to fill in these last two squares. We're going to blow your minds here, but we're going to come. This is U.S. taken from the show. This is us. This is us, and this is Canada. Wait, are sure it's not this I.S. us? Oh, gosh. Info systems? We already did an <laughs> IT thing. I mean, come on. That, that, that's, just, that's just brutal for our non-CS people in the room. Um, so there, Nicole's everyone wants is guilty. Um, <laughs> so... That's that's not the tr craziest, 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 mind-blowing, brain-stretching Thursday in the world. But we hope this still, you know, threw some of you for a loop. It is tricky to review this theme set one last time. If you want to click through them, we've got the Wizard of ID, not the Wizard of It, is the bouncer you can always spot a fake. Life of P.I. is the backstory for TV's Magnum from Life of Pi. My personal favorite of the bunch, advice for how the Pope can reach out online is to I am a believer. Shout out to the monkeys. 
um, <laughs> statement before, and that's Canada's. This is U.S., and that's Canada from This Is Us. And then some like IT hot, if you like your computer specialist to be attractive, again, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> some like it hot is where that comes from, of course. So that is a tricky Thursday, pleasantly fun sobbing experience. We hope you had highlights even in the surrounding fill from good things like Jazz Club to you know the parsing of eek by to the interesting clue for Ithaca to maybe if you understood the app clue at first glance it really hit him or was just a total groaner either way. Um, Honey604 loved it, Nicole Xavier loved it, Archibald loved it, uh, Budlums, is, and thank you guys for joining us today. Just as a reminder, I mean, we're here every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, no matter who is on vacation, unless we really have some sort of technical difficulties or it's a holiday. And next Thursday, Deb's still out of town, so Garrett, we're, we're we coming we, back. We, we've got we the floor back. again. We've got the floor. Um, so yeah, any anything else I've missed? You know, I don't think so. That was a really fun puzzle. I I quite liked it. You got to solve it live, so there you go. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you were I'm glad you were able to tackle it. Nice streak. Keep it up. So that is, that is my streak <laughs> is every day I've been at the New York Times. Every day you've been at the Times, out of way. <laughs> so well, we hope we we hope it it sticks around for a while. Um, so this has been uh, Sam Mazursky and Garrett Amini. Um, we've had an absolute blast doing this as we do every week. And if this was your first time here or your 1,000th time here, we hope you'll join us again next Thursday for another fun solve. Have a good rest of your day, everybody, and stay out of the bad weather. See you all next week.